Hello there, my name's Scott. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Bella Latina drip tank, which I purchased via a list. And you can find all the information about this waiting list at forum.caravellamods.pt. Now, I do need to make you aware that the Bella Latina drip tank is made specifically for a Caravella. They will only be sold to Caravella owners, and they will also be limited to a run of 999. Now I'm not too sure whether the list is closed or it's still open, whether there's spaces available or not. So uh, go along to the forum and hopefully you should be able to find that information out. Right, so no need for any disclaimers. Let's go straight ahead and show you in a bit more detail. Okay, so the Vela Latina drip tank comes in a really nice little wooden presentation box. And when you open up the lid, inside you're gonna find a really nice presentation and all the parts are gonna be wrapped up in these sort of uh, felt wraps. It's going to keep them nice and secure and safe in the transit. And in the top, you're also going to find a bag of spare parts containing some brass centre pins, O-rings and a polishing cloth. Okay, so here I have my Caravella. And from this point upwards is my Vela Latina drip tank. Now, for me personally, I think the combination of these two looks absolutely fantastic. The build quality of the Caravella is excellent. And I'm pleased to say that the build quality of the Vela Latina is also just as good. So the Vela Latina drip tank is basically an easier way of direct dripping that sort of removes quite a bit of these sort of faff messing about. Now for those who aren't aware, direct dripping is where you have like a regular sort of atomizer. What you're going to do is remove the mouthpiece, get your bottle of e-liquid out, drip a few drops of juice onto the coil, put your mouthpiece back on, put your lid back on your bottle, and then that's how you're going to start to vape. And then as soon as you start to notice the uh, flavour or the vapour start to fade, you're going to basically repeat the whole process, remove your mouthpiece, get your bottle of e-liquid out, drip your juice, etc, etc. And the uh, Vela Latina drip tank is basically working on the same principle. So inside that central tube, you're going to install a 306 atomizer. At the top of that central tube, hopefully you can see there's a small hole there. So once this tank is filled up with e-liquid, in order to sort of direct drip or feed liquid onto the uh, heating coal, you're going to hold, the, uh, hold it so the juice is in contact with that hole and take sort of two or three quick drags. That will then suck a bit of juice in, feed it onto the heating coal, and then when you go to vape, you spin it back round so the uh, juice is away from that hole. And that's it, you then start vaping. And once you start to notice the vapour or the flavour start to fade, you're just going to sort of spin it back round, take two or three quick drags, spin it back, and you start vaping again. So it's basically just removing the, uh, the need to remove your mouthpiece, get your bottle of e-liquid out, drip your drops of juice, put your mouthpiece back on, etc, etc. Okay, so let's uh, quickly show you the, uh, the Vela Latina in a bit more detail, and I'll show you how it all fits together. Okay, so the Vela Latina is made out of 316 stainless steel. The build quality is excellent, and the finish is absolutely superb. Now you can uh, very much like the Caravella, sort of pick and choose what sort of finish that you want, whether it's all brushed or polished, and I went with the all brushed version. On the base here you're going to notice you have a native connection for the Caravella, so this means it will screw directly into the Caravella's body and give it that nice sort of hybrid look. On the bottom you're going to find a serial number, and as these are only being sold to Caravella owners, the serial number of the Vela Latina will match up with the serial number of your Caravella. In the middle, we're going to find your brass centre pin. And it does come with different length pins to accommodate for different length batteries. But if you have a brass nut, screw that one instead. It just makes adjusting for different length batteries a lot easier. The tank is made out of Pyrex and holds 2.5 millilitres of e-liquid. And even on the tank, you've got some really nice engraving there, which hopefully you can uh, pick up. Now, uh, in addition to the Pyrex tank, I also purchased a brushed steel tank and a polished steel tank which uh, again, both look fantastic, but we'll give you a, uh, a word of warning. The Vela Latina is quite an expensive item to begin with, and when you start to add on the things like spare tanks, the price really does start to uh, shoot up quite considerably. On top, again, you've got really nice engraving here, and I think it's meant to be like a sort of ship's compass, and even on the mouthpiece, once again, you also have a really nice laser engraving with the Caravella logo. Okay, so here we have all the parts that make up the Vela Latina. So you have your tank, you then have the base section, the brass centre pin, the mouthpiece which is similar to a regular sort of drip tip but a little bit different, 
and finally your 306 atomizer and it will only work with 306 atomizers. Okay, so to assemble the Vela Latina, the first thing I'm going to do is take the 306 atomizer and screw that into the base. Now the next thing I need to do is slide the tank over the top of the atomizer. As you can hopefully see, there's a screw running through the base section and there's a tiny little O-ring right on the end of it. And uh, when you're taking it apart, just be mindful of that little O-ring, otherwise you can uh, end up losing it quite easily. So I'm just going to take the tank and uh, roughly line up the holes is going to be sort of uh, hopefully on top of where the screw is coming out there. And then just slide it on top, push it down. And if you just sort of give it a little bit of a twist, you can feel that the uh, screw is actually sort of uh, locating with the hole. And just take a screwdriver and tighten it up. And then you can just take the small brass centre pin and start to screw that into the base. And once you feel a little bit of resistance, that lets you know that you've made contact with the atomizer. And uh, you just want to insert the sort of uh, angled end in first. And if you have got a brass nut, it is handy to add this because uh, it just saves you a lot of hassle with having to keep on swapping over the centre pins to accommodate for different length batteries. Now when it comes to filling the tank up with e-liquid, you will need to have one of these sort of uh, needle tipped bottles, otherwise it's just going to be a right pain in the arse for you to actually fill the tank up unfortunately. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert the needle through that hole which you can hopefully see there. And if I can get this right, I'm looking at it upside down. And you can see the, uh, the actual end of the needle goes inside the tank. And then from there you can just start to uh, squeeze and fill the tank up with juice. And you don't want to fill it all the way up to the top, you want to leave it so it's uh, a little bit below that hole and that should be just about spot on. And as this is a brand new atomizer in there, I'm just going to add a few drops directly to it just to sort of uh, help it start off. For the next step we need to insert the mouthpiece and like I said it's quite similar to a regular sort of drip tip with the exception it has this sort of spout at the end with the mesh coming out. Now I'm not 100% certain what the purpose of the mesh is but I believe it's to help sort of stop e-liquid coming up the mouthpiece and into your mouth and also help to uh, feed liquid down onto the coil. Now when you insert this you want to pull the mesh out a little bit slightly then gradually sort of push it into place. And as you push it into place, it's going to make contact with the sort of base going around the, uh, the heating coil there. And it will gradually sort of push its way back inside the mouthpiece. And that's basically how you set it to the correct distance. Now, I like to make sure that the logo is the opposite of the sort of Caravella logo here. That way I know that if the mouth, if I've got the mouthpiece facing me, I've got the hole towards me. If I've got the Caravella logo on the, like the top piece facing me, then I know the hole is facing away. So I'm just going to uh, very slowly insert this and that will hopefully uh, push the, um, the mesh back inside and as you can hopefully see it has gone inside a little bit there and I know now that it's at the sort of perfect distance. Okay so all I need to do now is attach it directly to the top of the caravella. So it's just going to screw into place and it's all ready to go. Okay so that is the Vela Latina. Let's go ahead. See what it vapes like. Okay, so that was the Veda Latina drip tank, and what I'll do now is go ahead and show you an action. Okay, so unsurprisingly, I'm going to be using it on a Cara Veda. The tank has been filled up with some 18 milligram strength tobacco flavoured e liquid, it's just a PG e liquid. Uh, the resistance of the 306 atomizer is 1.6 ohms, and uh, the battery come off the charger probably around sort of two, two and a half hours ago. And um, normally I would sort of change it for a review, but it's vaping really nicely at the moment, so uh, hopefully it should be fine. Okay, so this is the uh, Vela Latina.
So as you can see, like vapor wise, you know, you're getting plenty of vapor out of it. You know, the 306 atomizer is really good for vapor production. I suppose to a certain degree, uh, the amount of vapor production you're going to get will be down to your own sort of personal setup with regards to what sort of resistance uh, atomizer you're using, whether you're using a PGE liquid or a VGE liquid. But uh, nevertheless, with a separate I've got here, getting uh, plenty of vapor. And uh, you know, when it comes to flavour as well, the 306 atomizer is really good for flavour. You know, you're getting plenty of vapour production out of them, you're getting plenty of flavour, and you're getting a really nice, very strong kick in the back of the throat as well, so it sort of ticks all the boxes, really. Now, um, I've never been a fan of direct dripping. I always sort of quite often jokingly refer to it as like a medieval practice. And I remember when it first came out, sort of what seems like years ago now, you know, people were raving about it and I just couldn't see the point whatsoever. And it was just annoying, you know, take off your mouthpiece, get your bottle of e-liquid out, take the cap off, drip a few drops, put your mouthpiece back on, put the cap back on the bottle, put it down, have a vape for about 10 seconds and then that's it, you've sort of got to repeat the old process all over again. Uh, but the, uh, the Vela Latina drip tank, you know, um, it's been a far, far more enjoyable experience. You know, it takes away a lot of that hassle. I mean, like at the moment, it's sort of all primed and ready to go, and I don't really need to sort of uh, drip any more e-liquid onto it. But if I did want to, rather than to take off the mouthpiece, get your bottle of e-liquid out, all I've got to do is make sure the hole's facing me. And that's it. I can start just turn it back around again, and I can start vaping again. And that's literally all it needs is just a few sort of little sort of short drags, and that'll suck a bit of that juice in through the hole drip it down onto the old heating coil and you're good to go again really. So uh, for me, um, it takes away a lot of that hassle and the faff of direct dripping, just makes it a lot easier for you, a lot less hassle, but you're still getting all the, uh, the benefits of that nice little flavour production and vapour etc etc, what, what you would get from direct dripping. Um, build quality wise, you know, it really is a very, very nice tank. You know, the, the finish on it is flawless, everything is screws together, you know, absolutely perfectly. Has to be said though, it's bloody expensive for what it is. I mean, like, it is just a tank, and uh, the basic tank on its own, or the basic sort of setup on its own, I think it was 150 euros, which is you no know, sort of quite pricey. But uh, when you sort of go and buy a Caravella or you go and buy like the Vela Latina, you, know, you have like um, a list there and you've got all these options and you've got your, like your basic sort of options. Then it says, oh, do you want to add this on or do you want to add that on? You think, oh, yeah, you know, I'll, have, uh, I'll have an extra tank there. I'll have a, a little bit of extra engraving there. And at the time, you don't sort of see a little price gauge going up and up and up. And so you just, have, you just, you just sort of add things on sort of willy-nilly. And then eventually, a few months later, you get an email from Pedro, who's the guy who manufactures them. He says, hello, Scott, you know, please let you know your Caravella or your Vela Latina is ready for you. And uh, just send me a, a payment for this amount. And you sort of look at it and your eyes pop out of your head. And you just think, bloody hell, you know. And I think in total, I've come to something like 235, 240 euros. You know, and that was for um, like the shipping, obviously. Uh, the the basic Vela Latina tank or the tank setup and that's everything obviously and uh, I bought the two extra um, sort of stainless steel tanks one brushed and one polished and like I said you know and I'm pretty certain that was, that's more than what I actually paid for the the Caravella on its own as far as I can remember and I was quite shocked at the time when I saw that amount in that email but uh, I do think it's what well it is worth it to people who like the Caravella stuff, to anybody else who's not fussed about Caravellas, who's happy to sort of vape on these sort of like the lower or the cheaper end stuff, you know, they're probably thinking, what an absolute mug for paying that amount of money. But for somebody or for people who are appreciative of the quality of the Caravella, like myself, then um, even though it is very, very expensive, you know, I'm very happy that I've got one, let's put it that way. So, um, very, very nice tank, but very, very expensive for what it is, especially when, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm pretty certain I ended up paying more than what I'd pay for the actual Caravella on its own, as far as I can remember.
But uh, you know, it vapes an absolute, absolute treat. And uh, I think this is probably one of the nicest setups that I've ever seen. It's definitely the nicest setup that I own. For me, it just sort of ticks all the boxes. It makes it a nice sort of handheld size. It looks the business, it performs great. You know, I can't really sort of uh, fault it at all, apart from it would be nice if it was about half the price, let's put it that way. But to be quite honest, Pedro could put up a list for his old socks and I'd probably still buy them, just because I'm a fan of the, like, the Caravellas, you know. I just like, uh, I just like them. The draw on it, I mean, like, um, you've got these sort of four air slots and... Uh, it's not a tight draw, but it's definitely not a loose draw. It's sort of right there in the middle, and uh, for me, it's just um, just a very nice little vape, really. I, there's not a lot of uh, there's not a great deal else I can tell you apart from to say that I really like it. I think it's a fantastic looking bit of kit. I think if you like 306 atomizers and you like direct dripping and you own the Caravella, then uh, I think you'd be really really happy with it. Um, maybe not so much with the price, but you would be actually happy with the product once you've got it in your hands. Um, like I said, it's not a great deal else I can really tell you about it. Uh, you know, if you fancy trying uh, to get one, then I'll suggest you go along to the forum.caravellamods.pt forum. Okay then guys, thank you very much for watching. And also come along and visit my website at www.esigreviews.com. That's e-sig-reviews.com. Cheers guys, happy vaping. See you later.